Are you a veteran thinking of making a move to Denver, Colorado? Well, Colorado has a strong commitment to supporting our veteran community, and there are so many resources for those looking to transition back to civilian life, those retiring, or those in active and combat duty. Today, I will share with you some of the top resources Colorado has to offer for our veteran residents. Hi, I'm Venus, a local Metro Denver Realtor. If this is the first time to your channel, I am very passionate that while it's important where you live, it's even more important where you do life. So if you wanna know all about where to eat, sleep, drink, play, and all things life in Colorado, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be first to know all about life in Denver, Colorado. My name is Venus with the eXp Realty and we get calls, texts, emails every day from people just like you thinking of looking for help to move to the Denver, Colorado area. We would love to hear from you. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, set up a Zoom call. We're here to help you make a smooth move to Denver. So I mentioned we are discussing benefits for veterans in Colorado. I'm not really familiar with other states, but Colorado offers special benefits for service members, veterans, and their families, including military retired pay tax exemptions, property tax exemptions, state employment preferences, education and tuition assistance, vehicle license plates, as well as hunting and fishing license privileges. Eligibility for some benefits may depend on residency, military component, and veteran disability status. So let's dive deeper into some of these options. Disabled vets have the ability to receive a property tax exemption on the home they own. To qualify, you need to be rated by the VA as 100% permanently and totally disabled and have owned and occupied the property since January 1st of the year that you're applying. Gold Star spouses can also apply. This benefit is 50% reduction on the first $200,000 value of their home exempted from the property tax. Now I will say that with our values going so much higher, this doesn't really seem like a huge benefit with the average value of property in the Denver area being 550 to $600,000. It still helps, but it's not a huge benefit. But if you're looking at more lower um, price properties, it might really give you a little bit of a benefit and any little savings helps, I'm sure. There are also grants available to help you redesign your home if needs to be adapted for wheelchair living. Another tax benefit is the property tax deferral program for military seniors and active military personnel. For those living on a fixed income, the state will initiate a loan for the tax payment on behalf of the household. The loan will be logged as a lien on the property. So it will be paid off during the sale of the home or if the participant no longer qualifies to defer their property taxes. Eligibility requires that you are 65 years of age or older or a person called into the military on or before January 1st of the year you filed the claim. All prior taxes must be paid and this must be your primary residence and the total value of liens against the property cannot exceed 100% of the assessed market value. So if you just bought a house using your VA loan, which is a 100% loan, it looks like that could be an issue. Income tax for active duty spending at least 305 days out of Colorado is tax free. Retired military under 55 can exclude up to $15,000 of their retirement income. And if you're between 55 and 64, you can exclude 20,000 and 65 and over 24,000. Same for survivor benefits plan. For education, there are Colorado tuition rates for non-resident service members, Colorado veterans and families. You must have an honorable discharge, a DD-214, dated before the first day of the term and have been previously stationed in Colorado on a PCS or be moving to Colorado permanently. A child of a vet or spouse must have a military spouse or parent stationed in Colorado within the last 12 years on PCS orders be biologically or legally adopted. A child of a vet or spouse must have a military spouse or parent stationed in Colorado within the last 12 years on a PCS order, be biologically related or legally adopted, or been married at the time the member was stationed in Colorado. Along those lines, those that are in National Guards are eligible for state tuition assistance up to 100% paid for any of the approved schools. You must have a minimum of six months service drilling status with the Colorado National Guard during the semester which you are receiving the assistance 
and maintain a 2.0 GPA. A lot to think about and consider, but that seems to be an amazing benefit. There are several resources to have preference for being hired as a veteran, as well as priority service at Colorado Workforce Centers. Colorado has a special license plate to indicate that you're a veteran or a military identifier on your driver's license or ID card. The Division of Motor Vehicles offers 39 distinctive license plates to Colorado veterans as well. Do you like to get outside? Well, Colorado offers free admission to Colorado State Parks in August or on Veterans Day. Disabled veterans with the indicator license plates have access to Colorado State Parks for free throughout the entire year but that does not cover camping. You'll be able to receive a free lifetime small game hunting and fishing license if you are also a qualified disabled veteran with a service-connected disability of 60% or a Purple Heart recipient. There are a few established veteran community living centers with long-term care environments and also short-term rehabilitation facilities. One of the most advanced hospitals in Colorado is our newly rebuilt VA Medical Center with access to all the VA healthcare systems. Many outlying cities have other healthcare facilities as well, strictly for vet use. So you see, Colorado has adapted many amazing opportunities for our veterans to have options in housing, education, tax relief, outdoor entertainment, and so much more. So if you are a veteran, Thinking of making a move to Colorado, let's talk. And first, thank you so much for your service. I come from a military family and I can't thank you enough. I'm here however you want to reach out. You can call, you can text, you can email. We can discuss your specific needs and make sure your move is simple and smooth. While I'm not a military or veteran expert on all things Colorado, I was born into the military with a military dad and a military grandpa, and I would be honored to be part of your move to our beautiful state. So until next time, don't forget to subscribe or ring that bell to be notified of all things life in Denver. See you then.